it's five in the morning. It's the day before the cookbook comes out. So, um, yeah, I'm getting up to go to CP2 for a breakfast show and do all this morning television. We already know I'm not a morning person. Are you excited, Snickle? You're awake. You just want food. Like, not slept over so early. What? Vlogging. Yeah. Have to be there at six fifty. Showing Nat how to make coffee in the French press. <laughs> I know how to make coffee in a French press, just not your French press. My kettle. Ooh. Tickle, you don't eat this early. I'm not feeding you yet. You have to wait. All right, we've got some vegan hair products, FYI, guys. Kevin Murphy sent this one to me. Vegan, cruelty free. old building where we both used to work for the whole morning. Um, 299 Queen Street West. We're doing CP24, Your Morning, and Marilyn Dennis. Oh my God, look at Tiffany's purple hair, everybody. <laughs> she did it specifically to match the cookbook. Yes, I did. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I wanted it blue, because it was either blue or green, because those are hot for Oh, shit. Yeah. And I did not want green. Here we go, everyone. <laughs> but mostly about how to make vegan food fast and fun now from Pickle Canada. Out comes Lauren's Hot Food, Vegan Cover Classics, 101 Recipes to Feed Your Face. Enjoy this now! Oh my god, I love that. I like had to really be listening. If I was not listening, I just that would just be. Did we actually head. land on the moon? I don't know, don't get me into conspiracy theories. Okay, Lauren, let me ask you this. As a meat eater, uh, and I'm, I'm buying away from it. I think it Good. You know, only makes sense of buying away from it. Yeah. Um, uh, meat eaters go yeah. for vegans. You're trying to fool us. Like, yeah, I am. Full disclosure, okay, trying to me. trick you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, who's here today? Oh, me, 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 me. <laughs> Okay, now we're over on the other side of the building doing um, your, uh, your Morning. I'm doing a dessert segment, uh, and we're making the Pop-Tarts. So exciting. Yeah, it really look, is Natalie's kind of back sweet. in her old spot. It's surreal. <laughs> I, won't, I won't lie. That's pretty. You, you know, you'd think I'd be talking about like the food, but we have a food stylist who's doing all the food for television, which is amazing. Guys, this is where I used to work. I used to walk down this hall to go to MTV, which is gone, basically. And now we're walking to the kitchen set of your morning. Look at this. I didn't do anything. It's all Michelle. You are amazing. It's all the great recipes from the cookbook. Well, Make it but easy. like, come on. <laughs> Look really good. You did such a good job. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. So this used to be, oh hi Chris. Hi. This used to be MTV where I did MTV. This is where I did after the grassy. Not anymore. Our next guest wants you to devour her cookbook in the same way that you would binge watch your favorite shows. Vegan Comfort Classics is full of sweet, saucy, deep fried goodies, courtesy of Lauren Toyota. And thanks for coming to the Your Morning Kitchen this morning. This is beautiful. I love it here. Thanks for coming. I can't believe all of this is vegan. And I say that because I'm used to thinking of vegan as you know, sort of healthy, kind of dry, a little bit crumbly. <laughs> These all look like gooey and delicious. That's the point. I mean, I think that's a misconception. Unfortunately, there has been some maybe missteps in the vegan movement. It's come a long way though and I just yeah, I'm trying to change people's minds because it doesn't have to be dry and it doesn't have to be tasteless and it doesn't necessarily have to be healthy. I think it's just about balance. Yeah. Excuse me. So good. You like them? I knew, listen, my favorite is an apple fritter. <laughs> I love an apple fritter <laughs> and I knew that these look good and they taste so good. They're better than maybe your sponsors. Oh, they are really good. <laughs> mm, thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. Okay, we're rehearsing Marilyn Dennis' show where I'm doing cauliflower two ways. 
Mmm, all oh, the spices. Mmm, it's all flowers. Okay, so this is Callista. Hi. If anybody remembers when I hosted After Degrassi, Callista was a After Degrassi show friend. That's true. And so we produced that and hosted that. And now she works at Marilyn Bennett. I know, she can't get away from me. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Outfit number three from Marilyn Dennis. So much going on. Look, we made this on Marilyn. It'll air in April. All right, so it's noon and I'm home now for a couple hours. I'm gonna do some computer work, eat some lunch, and then I'm going to a radio interview so, in order to plan like all the press and book tour, I had Natalie help me like basically plan my whole wardrobe for every event, every press appearance, every meetup on the book tour. <laughs> so like last week we did City Line, this morning we did CP24, that's what I wore, your morning. Every outfit when I go to New York and Philadelphia, Los Angeles, San Diego. It's very helpful to be that organized. Um, Cause yeah, just like if you're doing television and photos and press and all stuff, you kind of have to look different. I know it's like a weird thing to worry about, but it's kind of fun also. Okay, so it's been like over an hour and I finally made a sandwich. The huge tofurkey deli slice things, cheese, vegan cheese, romaine lettuce, squirrely bread, vegan mayo, Dijon mustard. <laughs> If you haven't RSVP to any of the Hot For Food book tour stops, make sure you go do that on hotforfoodblog.com slash book tour. There's Powerhouse Arena in Brooklyn, Penn Book Center in Philly. There's now a contest on Hot For Food's Instagram, how you can enter to be part of a secret meetup in Manhattan on March 11th. I'll be in Brentwood, California at Diesel, Barnes & Noble Burbank, Barnes & Noble San Diego, and Mysterious Galaxy Bookstore in San Diego. So go RSVP. I mean, I know you don't wanna like commit and everything, but like it's just good to have some numbers of like who's coming. And when you show up and you wait in line to meet me or take a picture or like get your book signed or whatever, we're gonna be um, doing something else special. We'll have an opportunity to hang out on the Greyhound Hover Food Book Tour bus with me for some extra one-on-one -on -one time. So you just have to show up, I can't tell you how you will win that um yes very exclusive okay it's gonna be so fun anyway i have to go do a radio interview in a little bit and that's pretty much it and then tomorrow the book launches i i almost have it's not that i don't have any emotion i'm just very grounded and i feel like it's all the anticipation that was getting me excited and anxious and now i'm just like chill and i'm like I guess it's coming out and like it hasn't hit me at all. I have a party tomorrow at YouTube Space Toronto and it's like friends and family and um, you know, people I've worked with, clients and stuff in the past and whatever and um, it's not like a public event and uh, it's kind of like my wedding. I'm like likening it to having a wedding. There's like a caterer making food from the book and like Nat and I made a playlist of like five hours of music and there's like a photographer and so like this is my version of a wedding basically because I'm married to my work. <laughs> Here's what I'm chatting to, Allison and Evan from The Breakdown. How's it going? Awesome. Great, I'm happy so, to have you here. I'm so excited. Look, we get to sit here, we have a headset. I've been in here before, but they've never seen it. Are you gonna hit, give me really hard vegan questions? Yes. Yes, good, okay, that's what What's I want. What's a hard vegan question? I don't know, like skeptical questions. No, because you're mostly plant-based, I heard. Yeah. Kevin Carter is with me all week and joining us now. Listen, you have seen her all over the TV, all over the YouTubes, and now, oh, do you want some lovely plant-based comfort food? Well, good news, she has you covered with her new book, Vegan Comfort Classics, 101 Recipes to Feed Your Face. Welcome, Lauren Toyota. But let's be honest, you were f you're filming stuff for your vlog. Yeah. You're doing, is there anything, any such thing as downtime? Okay, well, it's release day. It's 12.19 a.m. I stayed up so that I could switch over all the website stuff, all the social stuff. You know, everything needs to say available now, order now, not pre-order now. So I'm doing this now, because I have to. It doesn't get done on its own. 
Um, and I feel like I should have a more momentous thing to say. <laughs> but thank you for getting the book if you've already pre-ordered and been making food out of it. It's awesome. I feel like there's like a lot of momentum around this book and you guys are amazing and the feedback's been great. And there's like really nothing else I can do. So, um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Thank you. I look tired. I need to go to bed. I'm gonna finish doing all this internet stuff. And then uh, you'll be with me tomorrow for the launch party. Even though you don't get to go to the party, you get to come with me to the party via the vlog. It's gonna be fun. Okay, night night. Oh my God, it's 5.30. The fucking fire alarm went off. It's terrifying. It's like, it speaks and it like is so loud. Like it's like an industrial type fire alarm. It's not just like a regular beeping fire alarm end of the world flashing lights sound the alarm like get the fuck out of this house <laughs> for no reason it went off i think i'm having a heart attack <laughs> <laughs> okay back to doing makeup again <laughs> <laughs> When Happy lunch day! Here we go. Here we go. This is not the fun. This is not the final episode. This is just how I need to get to breakfast television. <laughs> and then we do the hair when we get there. <laughs> you, you look like Bay Street, like you know, going to yeah, work, yeah. and then with the <laughs> walking speed to walking. the financial district. Speed walking. Oh my god. We no, already, no, no we scary. already cried. We already what? Cried. Yeah. Oh my god, why did I miss it? Well, guys, I have to come for the earlier meditation <laughs> session. This isn't fair. We didn't even do meditation. We just started talking about everything, and then I won't even get into this right now. But it's not anyway. fair because so, it's fine. Now he's here to fix our makeup yeah. if we cry. Yes, I'm sure we'll cry later a bit. Okay, we're going to BTO. All of this for four minutes. I'll just say four minutes of live television. <laughs> It took us an hour and 15 minutes to get ready. <laughs> All the clothing, everything. It's really funny. But hopefully that helps us sell some kickbooks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're behind the scenes here at Breakfast Television. We asked for four dishes. So we got our bacon, mac, and cheese, the blueberry cheesecake, the barbecue jackfruit, <laughs> and then we're making the tofu benny on the cooktop. Yay, Michelle! She's got a spray bottle. What's in that? Water or oil? Water. Just water. Mm, the tricks. It's actually for the people. So that's the real secret, is that all this food you're seeing on television, I didn't even make it. <laughs> I think that's funny, because you probably think I did make it. And I did make everything in the book. And I made it and tested it and photographed it. But when it comes to doing television, it's just not, it's just not, what is it? It's not efficient to have me do all of that. Cause then I would be exhausted and I wouldn't be able to speak on air to actually like talk about the cookbook. <laughs> and quickly ready for the holidays on the tofu Benny. Oh dinner. my gosh. <gasps> that looks so there, good. Breakfast. For more information, everybody, as you said, it is your brand new vegan cookbook. It's called Vegan Comfort Classics 101 Recipes to Feed Your Face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, oh my so good. Well, that was fast. <laughs> now I'm eating the actual prop food. Because <laughs> I don't eat breakfast. I don't have time. I do eat breakfast. But... All right, so we're taking the leftover food from BT and we're making a recipe. So if you have the cookbook and you have leftover barbecue jackfruit, you can make a barbecue jackfruit tofu benny. What? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, obviously. So heat up your jackfruit in the pan. Look at all this. Just get a big pan, everything going in one like this. Pulled jackfruit, hollandaise, tomato slice. Look at that. Mm. That is a good idea. Okay, we're at YouTube Space, about to walk into the venue. Now, just to 
preface all of this. YouTube Space Toronto, uh, the team here, Gabe, Mark, Catherine, everybody put this together for me with the help of Penguin Canada. I literally had nothing to do with this other than saying like, can we do this, can we get that, I like this, I don't like that, and then I didn't have to do anything. And you'll meet Gabe in a second who's over there listening to me talk about him. So this is the space, it looks so cool! Um, what? Gabe, you're amazing! <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! This is not the subway, this is our green room. <laughs> Yay! Clothing rack, seats, not subway. So I was lucky enough to get some squish candies for the event tonight. Um, they actually have vegan friendly gummies. Vegan, 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 and they're so delicious. So we've got assortments of pink lemonade, vegan Prosecco gummy bears, grapefruit and blood orange slices, vegan red roses, and cherry watermelon hearts. Uh, yummy. Good thing they didn't send extra for me to eat a bunch by myself. We're gonna give it all away. <laughs> But they're so good, so yeah, look for Squish Candy, squishcandies.com. This face though. <laughs> That's the face! You can't not That's do it, face. look. Okay, so I did the press lunch, which was super fun. Got to do a little demo of some nacho cheese. And this is like a really awesome day. The parties aren't until seven o'clock. Everything's set up. I don't have anything to do. So I'm gonna get my nails done because these don't look too great. And I'm gonna get Nat and Tiffany manicures also. One hour till party time. Hopefully I don't forget to vlog things. It's possible that I might forget, so, but we'll try to not forget. <laughs> um, um, who the fuck is Tiff? She has a recovery hangover patch for the party tonight for us. So we put this on and we won't get a hangover? That's how it works, man. Win Can tomorrow. Can we get a whole Win lifetime tomorrow. sponsorship if this works, please? <laughs> if this works, I'll tell you. Because I plan on drinking a lot. <laughs> okay, we got my my hangover patch on. We got my outfit on. <laughs> Let's go. Okay guys, we got a nacho cheese station. Look at how beautiful it is. Thank you, Luke. Again, didn't make any of my own food. Marigolds and onions is the catering company. Luke, head chef for the evening. Made everything happen. Oh, my parents are here. Okay, bye. with me and you know I wasn't quite sure 
it should be interested in writing a book. Um, of course, I, I hoped for that. And um, my wish came true. And uh, so very quickly, uh, Lauren um, just uh, poured all of her wonderful energy into uh, a project and then by uh, September we are teamed up and working with our colleagues in the US 10 speed press and um, I, I can't believe it that it's um, you know like two years later and here we are with a beautiful beautiful book uh, publishing here in Canada uh, in the U.S. with 10 Speed Press, and in the U.K. with our imprint Ebury. Um, it's, uh, it's amazing, and it's just been a wonderful journey. I couldn't uh, work with um, you know, a more beautiful author, and uh, the book is just gorgeous, and she has worked so hard um, on promoting the book, and way before it was even in your hands, um, just really, really incredible, and uh, just want to congratulate Lauren on on her book. Um, thrilled to be your publisher and, and thrilled to be your editor. Um, and so, as part of tonight in our celebration, um, you can uh, purchase copies of Hot for Food. Uh, ben from Ben McNally is here, and. Um, uh, Lauren will be happy to sign your books yes. after she has a few words here. <laughs> but first, let's just um, uh, congratulate Lauren on such a beautiful project and bringing uh, wonderful vegan recipes to everyone. <laughs> Um, as you can see, Andrea and Maggie are so gracious and lovely and graceful and she has this really amazing energy and it's the reason why I decided to make the book because I went into that meeting really skeptical and kind of like, I don't think I want to make a cookbook. Like everybody who knows me knows I didn't want to make a cookbook, which sounds insane because who doesn't want to make a cookbook? I'm like, do this and this and, and, and I just didn't think it was something I was going to do. But Andrea, um, really, I don't know what, you weren't selling me, you were just you and there's something about you and I just connected with you and I just wanted to do the project and I went home that day after the meeting I literally started writing a book pitch <coughs> not knowing what I was doing and then, yeah and then we got a book deal and it's crazy and um, my literary agent Sally Eckes is here from the United States and she's awesome and she helped with that too I can't talk very long because I will cry a lot and I've been crying all day and just like thank you to everybody who's here this is so insane um, I made a cookbook, but like, there are so many people in this room that help me. See, I can't do it. <laughs> we love you. Like, so many people help with this on the daily, and also just to make the YouTube channel what it is, to like, support me so I can do this for a living, and it's actually just about trying to make people go vegan, truthfully. I am a crazy vegan, but I mask it really well. <laughs> That's like my MO. Um, and uh, I just want people to feel like they can approach this lifestyle in a comfortable uh, way and then a fun way and in a way that tastes really good because it truly is about feeding your face with good food and connecting with the nostalgia and the emotion involved in food and the dishes that you love from your childhood and that's what Vegan Comfort Classics is about, which I'm sure you get, so I won't even get into it that anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for being here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna blab on. I love talking, I talk all the time, but I can't do it right now. Um, so just quickly, Penguin Canada, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just not gonna say names because I'll cry, but you know who you are, and a lot of these people are thanked in the back of the books. You can see a picture of my cat eating apple pie, and beside that, many people are, who are involved in hot for food are thanked there. Um, and Kin Community, who I work with on my YouTube channel, they're the partners that I work with to um, basically make money, to make that money so that I can do this for a living, so thank you. And um, Sally Eck is my literary agent, and there's some recipe testers in the room who help test these recipes and they're here so thank you and I owe some of you books right now uh, and I was going to forget everyone thank you to YouTube Space Toronto Mark Gabe Catherine Ali Benny everybody who helped put this together I did nothing I just <laughs> showed up so thank you they put this event together they organized the space they hired the caterer um, Luke is doing all the food and his staff thank you for serving thank you to the bartenders 
anyway, just this is so cool. I, don't, I can't, I can't handle all this. <laughs> so, just thank you. You've all helped in some way make this what it is, and there really is some like legit, real momentum behind this book, and I feel it, and I see it. It's not pretend, and it's working, and the message is getting out there. So thanks to everybody who's involved and who's helped in some way, and just have fun and drink alcohol and <laughs> and then kind of you know be convinced that vegan food is actually good. <laughs> So thank you, have fun, and I'll be here in the Okay, so I'm not sure what happened, but it's 11.30 or so, and the party is over, and my bestest friends are hanging out, and that's... <laughs> And that's it, and that was the launch, and we might go to another bar, and <clears throat> Lauren, we just have to keep the things we're gonna in keep. this room. Okay, and we're good? Gabe's good. Good, He's we're gonna, gonna leave our stuff here bar. like this, because I don't wanna go to the bar with that, this is yeah. insane. And then, that's it, thank you for being part of the launch, thank you for buying the book, more to come. Uh, I'll link my playlist below that I played at the party, so it's like you could still party like you were here. Um, and I just better go and stop talking. Okay, love you all. Good night.